We'd like to welcome everybody back to practicallyandroid.com where we go through practical and beneficial ways to use your Android in everyday life. So today is Wednesday Basics and we're going to show you some um, very basic, useful thing. Uh, and that is selecting default apps for specific functions on your phone. And at first glance you might think, what the heck is that? What, what is this guy talking about? Well, your Android phone may or may not have more than one app that does the same thing. And you may not have done this on purpose, and I'll get to that in just a second. Um, but every time you, you try to perform this function, your your phone's going to ask you, okay, well, out of out of these many apps that can do perform this function, which would you like? And the first time I came across this, I thought, oh, that's kind of neat. But then I quickly got annoyed of it, <laughs> um, and then realized that there's... Um, you know you can select the default uh, but then we're also going to cover how you can change these defaults because that's another stumbling block I came across so let's go ahead and get started so to show you this example we're going to talk about text messaging apps now I have um, four these four text messaging apps um, not that I use them all, all the time but the one to the very right is the one that came stock with my phone the one to the very left is the one that I like to use that I downloaded from the Android market. Skype I use for international calls but it, it also can do text messages so it's on the list. And then WhatsApp is what I use for international text messages so I don't get charged an arm and a leg when I, when I do that. Um, so that's really neat. Now um, whenever I want a text message I can just click my uh, tap on my Go SMS Pro icon here at the bottom and I can text away. Pretty cool. Okay. Now, if I want to, um, for example, I have a, just for this example, I set up a, a shortcut, shortcut contact for Andy Android. I'm sure you're all very familiar with him. Um, sh contact shortcuts make it so you can either call or text someone or um, email or whatever. So let's say I'm going to send him a text message telling him that he needs to give me a raise or something. Um, well, it's going to tell me, okay, well, you want to send them a text message? Which of these four apps would you like to use? Well, I'm going to tell it, I want to use GoSMS Pro. So, it, it takes me right to it. Now, um, let's say later on I need to send them another text message. And then this, I get this, this list again. And you can imagine, time after time, this would get really annoying. So then I quickly realize that at the very bottom of this, it says, use by default for this action. So, the trick is you, you tap on this first and then tell it, okay, from now on, whichever app I choose, I want to use, I want it to be the default app for that specific function. Now, though we're talking about text messaging, um, this, you know, the same thing can happen for any of these. So, like for calls or for email or whatever. Um, also, if you're trying to look up a video and you have different apps that, that can play videos. So, for example, I have my standard gallery app here and I have um, quick pick which I like as well so for things like that um, let's say if you want to share content and you want to share a picture it might ask you which of the two and things like that so it actually comes up all the time so I've already set this or I'm going to set this I'm going to tap on this first and tell it okay I want to use go SMS Pro so from now on, it's going to do that, okay? So, um, let's say a couple of things happen. Either I stop liking, I, I don't want to use that app anymore. I, un, I, I just don't want to use it. Um, or, let's say when I, when I was choosing my selection, I chose the wrong one. How do you change it? Um, when I first got my phone, my Android, uh, I figured out that if I uninstalled the app and, in, and reinstalled it, um, it it would give me the options again, but that's kind of a lot of work and not necessary. I did figure out a nice, easy way to do that, and that's what I'm going to show you today. So to start, you're going to hit the the menu button, and let me make a note here. Seems like everything that we do, you kind of start either by long holding on somewhere or or by pressing the menu button. So just you know, take that home and and uh, that's kind of how you can learn. A lot of things from your Android is just kind of browsing through the menu. So let's go ahead and keep going. So I'm going to hit tap. I'm going to tap the menu. Go to settings. Now my menu looks a little bit different. I'm using what's called My UI um, 
rum and I love it I recommend it to everybody it's sweet but basically on your phone you're gonna see you know just your regular menu like always go to the apps menu after you tap on the apps you're gonna see manage application so tap on that and uh, you're gonna see downloaded all on SD card running etc etc okay um, so I'm gonna scroll the trick to clearing out the default app is to go to what you chose as a default app so I went to I'm gonna go to go SMS Pro and you'll see now these other options we'll get to in, in a different screencast for today we're gonna scroll up and go to clear defaults right here so basically when you clear the defaults like I just did on this um, you are telling your Android phone that you no longer want that to be this the default app for that specific function so let's test I'm gonna send another text message to Andy and voila now we have our four apps that we had earlier so then you can make your new selection you know let's say I wanted to use uh, the stat the stock messaging app now look I did that wrong I actually should have pressed the button first so let's try that again um, push the button first and then tap you know choose the app and from thence on out thence is that a word t-h-e-n-c-e -E? thence from then on anyway so if we try this again it is going to take me back to the same app so pretty cool and now you're now you can do one more thing on your Android phone that hopefully makes your life a little bit easier and uh, these things might seem kind of silly but I gotta tell you I've, I've talked to so many people that they're just so frustrated with their Android phone it's so complicated blah 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 and I always feel bad for those people because they're missing out on such an awesome um, mobile experience uh, just because they can't get past these things and that's why we try to cover these things so anyway that's it for today you guys if you have any questions put them in the comments below or send us an email to staff at practicallyandroid.com and uh, our chief executive officer or chief creative officer and the android will get to them all or he'll send me to do it i mean i answer all the emails so and we really do get to them all we love your feedback um, and just keep loving your Android, keep rocking it for a more practical life, practicallyandroid.com. Take care, y'all.